welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you a haul of a lot of random things and at first it was just going to be beauty products like the things that I got from Fame Expo and some things I got from MAC and the drugstore before that and I started accumulating a lot more things and since I kind of am not just a beauty person I'm also you know a person that likes to accumulate other things other than makeup. I wanted to share with you some lifestyle things that I picked up as well that I think are super fun and so let's go ahead and jump into it. So let's get started with the things that I got earlier today that I wasn't planning on getting and my family and I went to lunch earlier today and my sister wanted to purchase some workout clothes and my dad didn't want to go to the citadel outlets just because it's a little bit far so we ended up going to marshall's instead and i did pick up a few random things and a few of them are fitness related so the very first one is this really cute sports bra it's like a striped bluish purpley sports bra and it's from Mondetta. I was really drawn to how cute it looks and look at how it looks in the back and I know it's a sports bra and I'm most likely not comfortable in wearing just a sports bra on its own yet but I'm working on it so this is probably like a goal sports bra so that when I'm comfortable enough then I'll wear it on its own but for now it'll stay underneath my tank top or my t-shirt whichever one I'm wearing that day but I just love the pop of neon green in the back and just I don't know the detail in the back it just makes it look fun and sexy and I don't know I I like it and it was only $12.99 and originally $18 and so I thought it was a steal. Next thing that I got from Marshalls is this blender bottle and I got it in the neon green and I do have one already but I broke the top and so every time I shake my bottle it spills everywhere and so I just really needed to get a new one and I got this for only six bucks. Usually I think they range from nine dollars the last two things that i got are just some cute notebooks and notepads that i found randomly in like the home decor section and i didn't even know they sold really cute notebooks and i don't know i'm just really drawn to really cute typography so this first one is this purple notebook and it just says the future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams and I thought it would be perfect for like my ideas for my YouTube channel or if I'm going to have a blog or maybe a business in the future or a brand even. And the paper is really really nice. I am a sucker for stationery and I'm a really big sucker for a really good paper. So the last thing that I got is this notepad and this totally reminded me of Blue's Clues. I don't know if y'all watched it when you were younger or when you were going up. I definitely was watching it when I was not a toddler and I don't know for some reason I was just drawn to it and I loved it so much. So the next few things that I wanted to share with you are some of the things that I got from Amazon that just recently came today and they're also not beauty related so I got a screen protector this one is the ballistic glass one and I do prefer this over the plastic one just because when you drop your phone on accident it will break the glass and not your actual phone and so it's kind of a little bit more secure as opposed to just a regular screen protector this one is actually for my boyfriend and I already put mine on my phone and I just wanted to share this with you so I got that the next thing that I got from Amazon I'm super super excited about this is cards for humanity and I didn't even know this game existed until two weekends ago when I went on vacation with my college friends and we played this game like non-stop and I realized I was really good at this game and I don't know like it's kind of like apples to apples but the adult version definitely excited to play this with my friends I got the 
Cards for Humanity, the original set, and then I got two expansions. I just got the first and second one, and these were $10, and this big one right here is $25. You can't, I believe you can't pick this up anywhere, like in stores, but you can easily purchase this on Amazon and also on their website, which I will link down below in case you're interested in purchasing this. And this is great for those summer parties that you're going to have, or if you're going Going camping and you need something to pass time with. The next things that I got are from Target. So I picked up a couple of Vegas Nays lashes from Ilor and I was hunting for these for a while now. So I got this one. This is the Grand Glamour one, which is probably the most dramatic out of the four that she has and this one comes with a glue and it is reusable. I've used Ilor lashes before and they're really really good quality for a drugstore brand and compared to a lot of higher end or more expensive pairs of lashes. The other one that I got is called Shining Star and it's the one that I'm wearing right now. And the next things that I got from Target are from The Spot which is actually my most favorite at Target just because I don't know they have so many really cool knickknacks and secretly I love school supplies and office supplies and teacher supplies even though I'm not a teacher but I don't know for some reason I just I don't know I love collecting them and so I got a few of these notepads and most of these are actually 4th of July um, themed and so I got this one this one is like an owl and it's blue and it has like a silhouette of stars in the back and then the next one that I got is just this notepad with lines and then it has that navy blue trimming around it and it has some white stars and stuff this anchor one so it has like a red anchor and it has that chevron border all around and some lines as well and then the last one that I got is not the same as these ones. It's a little bit fatter or wider. Some post-its and I actually cut them up just so that they line up really nicely on my desk. But they do come in a set of two and the two is for a dollar. And so I got this red and white stripe one and then this plain white one and then it has the map of the United States and it just says land of the free very patriotic and then this one is also another plain white one and then it just has blue and red stars on the sides and then the last one is very similar to this one like the trimming of it so it has like the navy blue the next few items that i wanted to share with you are some mac lippies and i got quite a few of them <laughs> and I'm kind of ashamed, but kind of not. MAC recently came out with a brand new matte lip collection and all of them are permanent items. And so I was really excited because MAC rarely ever does permanent stuff in collections. Usually they're very limited edition. So the very first one is Men Love Mystery, and this is just what the color looks like. And it's like a subtle purple, and it kind of reminds me of something that MAC already does have. And so I can't put my finger on what the name is there, and that's what the color looks like. It's a really nice, like, subtle color. It's not too bright, and it's almost like a pastel color, and so perfect for the summer if you don't want something that's too dramatic. Next one that I got is Stone and this one is the counterpart of the Stone Lip Liner. Stone Lip Liner is I believe available online and also at MAC Pro Stores. And Stone I was really excited for because I love the lip liner so much and I used it to death that I just needed it to be a lipstick and it did and I was really excited about it so this is what if it would focus so it's a very dark brown color and it's a cool tone brown color and if you like Riri Nude then you would like this for sure because it's darker and you can pass it off as like a 
vampy lip and it's really great for the fall. The next one is Antique Velvet and this is just what it looks like. And Antique Velvet kind of reminds me of a lot of MAC lipsticks already but you know me and my vamp colors. I do love vampy colors and I can never have enough and so I just grab every single one of them no matter how similar they look but I oh well I guess antique velvet is not as like similar as a lot of things as I thought it's actually more brown than a lot of the vampy colors that I have so this is what it looks like it does have a red undertone in it but it's not too strong it actually has more brown in it so it's more of like a poop color I don't know if that's like attractive at all I'm sorry if that's like the only way I could describe it but yeah it's a poop color <laughs> yeah but I mean I would wear it so I don't know. The next color that I got is Matte Royal and I was actually surprised by this color because MAC never really comes out with an exotic looking color like this. Usually the, you know, the most eccentric it'll get is probably like a really bright color or a really dark color but never like a blue color. I don't know. This is like a bluish purple color. And just by swatching this, I can already tell that it's not as like um, creamy and pigmented as the rest of them. This is what Matte Royal looks like and it's so pretty. So the next one that I got is Persistence. And this is just what it looks like. So focus. Okay. okay, this is what persistence looks like and definitely, definitely a wearable color and something that you can wear all year round, all day, every day, whatever it is. This might be your new go-to color, I don't know. And then the last one that I got is probably the most like anticipated color out of this collection and the most popular out of all of them and this is Whirl and if you love the lip liner you will definitely love the lipstick this is the one that I'm wearing on my lips today and I am in love with this lipstick like I don't know why it took them this long to come up with a Whirl lipstick it's, it's a really nice like dark mauvey ugh. So my, my arm doesn't turn over that way anymore. Okay, let's do this. Okay. All right, does that, does that look better? Okay. I'm totally drawing this lipstick all around my arm. So this is what Whirl looks like and it's like a mauvey, rosy, nudie color and that is like the best description that I could give you. So the last two things that I got from MAC are lip liners and these did not come with the collection. first one that I got is Morning Coffee and I actually lined this with Whirl today on my lip. I gotta line it right here. Okay, so this is, if it could focus, okay, so this is what morning coffee looks like and that's what it looks like next to Whirl and as you can see, it is kind of similar to the Whirl lip liner but this just has a better formula. This one that I got is Sore lip liner and this one is another one of those cult favorite lip liners at MAC and it's kind of similar to... Um, morning coffee it's kind of in the same color family but it's just a little bit lighter and much pinker less mauve and much pinker so this is sore so now I'm gonna move on to the things that I got at fame expo so I'm not gonna go in any order here I have a few bags and I'm just gonna pick it at random okay so the first one is from Z palette and I love Z palette. I have so many of them already that I don't know. I just love to depot things now and just keep them in my Z palette just so that it doesn't accumulate space. And so I picked up this black extra large Z palette. I've actually never owned an extra large Z palette before. I have my 
Makeup Geek blushes that is sitting on like the regular Z palettes and they don't fit and I'm really really pissed off sometimes. I don't know, maybe it's just the OCD person in me. I get really really bothered when there's extra space because it doesn't fit exactly in my Z palette that I can't even use that space. And I could use it for eyeshadows, but it just messes up my system of how I store things. And so I picked this one up and they said that it did fit those blush pans perfectly and so I'm excited. Next thing that I got is a BoxyCharm box and BoxyCharm was there for the first time at Fame Expo. I got some things that I've already gotten in previous BoxyCharms and some new things so I just wanted to share them with you. So the first one is this Previs Previse. I don't really know how to say that name but it's the one to six step to nutrify. I've actually gotten this before but I've never tried it yet. If y'all have tried this product before please let me know in the comments below and let me know how you like it. The next one is this um, blush bronzer illuminating blush stripes from Ofra Cosmetics and Ofra is a really good affordable brand because their powders are so pigmented and although some of them can appear a little chalky they're like super pigmented like I'm swatching these right now and the pigmentation is just amazing like look at these this is what you're looking at like it's glowing that you can't even see it with my ring light like it's ridiculous I'm really excited to actually wear this for the summertime and just like highlight my face all around with this so the compact has four colors so it has a champagne color it kind of reminds me of like whisper of guilt a little bit and then the next one is like a pearly white color and it's also shimmery. And then the next one is like a peachy pink kind of highlight with like hints of golden shimmer. And then the last one is like a rosy golden like really really nice for the summer bronzy color which is super super nice. I'm really excited to try this out actually. The next one that I got, I actually do have this color already, but this one is an LVX nail polish and it's just a really nice corally color. This is what it looks like. The next one that I got is a lip liner and this one is the Beauty For Real lip liner and I believe this one is called Natural. And let me just swatch it for you. Ooh, that was a really nice color. This one I've gotten in a box before, but I've actually never swatched it or um, put it on my lips. It's a mauve pinky shade. Perfect for all of your 90s inspired lip colors. Definitely gonna use a lot of that. Last thing that I got from my Boxy Charm box is the So Susan light diffuser so it's a light diffuser illuminator and bronzer duo okay so the compact just looks like this so this is the illuminator side and the bronzer side so let's see this is what the bronzer looks like um i don't know about that color on my skin it's a little too like red for my liking for a bronzer that's what the illuminator looks like it's a light gold color and it's very subtle actually focus yeah it's very subtle and so um off the bat I can tell that it's already like really chalky even when I swatch it and then like swatch it on the back of my hand and so I'm not sure how I feel about this I got a few nail wraps from NCLA so I got these cool fun ones and these are nail wraps or nail stickers so I got this like really fun like watermelon one and I thought it would be perfect for summertime and I actually put one of each on the big toes this one is another fun one and this one is the Steph Stone one and it just has all different ones like every single one was different and what drew me to this is like the french fries and 
also like the ice cream and I don't know it was just like really really random and it kind of reminded me of Super Mario Brothers and I actually have some of them on my nails if it could just focus again okay so yeah I have like four random ones on my nails and they're super super cute also got a pair of lashes from flutter lashes and these are the tamana lashes that dress your face or tamana roshan 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 um designed for flutter lashes and this is just what it looks like so it's very like fluttery and wispy and some of the lashes are like longer than the rest of them. The next things that I got are from Veramona and Veramona is very popular with their Switch Duos and the Switch Duos, if you're not familiar with them, is like a tool where you can use your brush and put eyeshadow in it and use it on your eyes and then right afterwards you kind of swirl it around the switch duo and it's clean again and you can use it for a different colored eyeshadow okay so the duo one looks like this so it has two different sponges and then this one is just the regular one and let's see what it's so for the black sponge glide eyeshadow brush against the black sponge to remove color and then the white sponge it says soak mini sponge with water and use to dampen brushes for wet makeup oh Oh, that's really cool. So you can use this if you want to foil your eyeshadows or apply them wet. So the next thing that I got is another pair of mink lashes and this one is from Blinking Beauty and I was really, really excited because it was Blinking Beauty's first time at Fame Expo and I think, in my personal opinion, her lash line is probably the best lash line that I've tried for mink lashes just because they fit so well with my eyes. I have very small eyes and I have very sensitive eyes and so I need something that's very comfortable to wear that I don't have to dread all throughout the day when I'm wearing lashes and stuff and this definitely helps me with that. I was so excited because I got the Samantha lashes finally. I have been wanting this for so long and this is what the Samantha ones look like. And so this one was made for Samantha or Battle Lash Beauty and I just love them because they're so dramatic and they're wispy and I don't know, I just love how they look and I'm really, really excited to try this out on myself. Last few things that I got from Fame Expo are from Melt Cosmetics. At first, I was only going to pick up their eyeshadow stack because this has been sold out on their website for so long, ever since they came out, and so I'm really, really, really excited. So this one is called Dark Matter. So the eyeshadow stack comes in a stack, obviously, like this, and they're all magnetic, and every stack comes with this mirror and it has the Melt logo on the other side. This one is Blur, so it's just a really nice like brown, light brown transition color. Unseen, which is darker than the previous one that we just saw. So that one could be another transition color. The next one is the one I was super excited about and this one is called Enigma. It's just a red brick color. And these are all matte, by the way, in case you were wondering. And then the last one is just a matte black color, which is dark matter. And I'm super, super pumped to try this. And if you want me to do a tutorial on this, please let me know in the comments below because I'm probably going to anyway. And yeah, so I got this. The next one that I got, well, the next ones that I got are all lipsticks. I'm really excited when my friend Orpha, who was um, helping out Melt Cosmetics at the time, she told me that DGAF was selling at Fame Expo until they sold out or they sold it completely out, which means after that release, they're probably not going to sell them anymore ever. And so this is what DGAF looks like. And I know it kind of reminds you of Matt Royal. So this is what DJF looks like. And as you can tell from the Max swatch that I did earlier, this one is much creamier and much more pigmented. And so I'm really, really excited to try this and wear them to all the Dodger games that I'm going to go to. 
last few lipsticks are actually brand new lipsticks from Milk Cosmetics and I believe they have not released them on their website yet and so if you're planning to get these, I will show you swatches right now. Didn't plan on getting all four. I actually wanted to get either like two or three out of the four that they had but since they were like having this deal for actually getting the whole set then I just opted to get everything anyways and so they actually came in different packaging than the original one because this one has like that lip and then has like the purple melt logo since because it is the nude collection they kind of opted for neutral colors so the first one is nude and already off the bat by putting this against my hand I already knew it's gonna wash me out so that's what nude looks like and it kind of I don't know to me it kind of looks like concealer I'm probably not gonna use this on its own I'm probably going to line or like do an ombre with it and just put it on the center of my lips next one that I got is laced and this one is like a brown like a cool tone nude color Compared to Stone lipstick that I showed you earlier, this one's a little bit closer to Riri Nude. So this is what Lace looks like, and as you can see, compared to Nude, it's definitely like so much darker and definitely something that I would wear more. Cat suit, and I actually did not see this on their Instagram page or any of the other pages, but this one is like a brown color and another poop color. I got another poop color. Okay, so that's what cat suit looks like. So last one is called sext and this one I think is lighter than nude. Oh yeah, definitely lighter than nude. So this one is like a pinky nudie color but it's super pale. The nude lipstick I would probably compare to Pure Hollywood which I did wear and was comfortable with but Sex definitely is super pale. I You can't even see it on camera. So the very last thing that I got that I wanted to share with you in this haul today is the Glam Glow Cleanser. So I did pick it up at Sephora later on that day and I wasn't expecting on getting it. Usually I've been very good about going into Sephora and not buying anything, but when I saw this I was like, what? Glam Glow made a cleanser? And it was like $39 and usually Glam Glow products are so expensive and I'm usually not one to really complain about price, but when I saw this and it was 39 bucks, I was like, um, yes, score. And I've been using this for a week and I can't wait to share y'all what I think because I think it's awesome. So that is it for my haul of a lot of random things that I recently purchased. I hope that you all liked it. And if you would like me to do swatches or tutorials or reviews of anything that I mentioned in this video today, or if you have any more video suggestions of what you would like to see on my channel, please leave them in the comment section down below. I love you and I'll see you again soon. Bye!